This might just be the easiest way to create interesting responsive layouts. So on this parent, there's no styles applied. And on this child, we can set its width to something like eight columns. And on this other child, let's go ahead and set its width to something like six columns. Now this works regardless of parent size. If we set the parent to zero pixels, they're still the right size. Set the parent to wider than the container, like a horizontal scroll, and it still works. In many places where flex or grid would fall apart, this holds up. And we can select this other child, give it some margin auto to push it apart, and it works with any type of design. So let's say we designed our site on a 10 column grid instead. We'll notice this is now spanning eight of those 10 columns. And it's so easy to make it responsive. On this next breakpoint, we can go ahead and update this to 10 columns. And on the next breakpoint down, we might want to change this one to be 10 columns as well. So this is fully responsive and it respects user font size. It works with any browser that supports CSS variables and it can help us create intricate layouts that would usually require things like subgrid or more complex features. So check it out in the latest version of Lumos.